there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Today we're doing an Artifacts Monday! So it's Artifacts Monday on a Monday. That's one of the things we're meant to be doing on regularly, but uh, just I haven't had that many Artifacts Monday games to check out on the PlayStation. After a year of them releasing games on a very regular basis, giving me the opportunity to be able to do this on a regular basis, uh, they took a little bit of a break. So what I'm doing is I'm going back, going all the way back, but all the way back to the first one I actually played on PlayStation 4 as a demo, way back about... Whew, 14 months ago, 15 months ago. So we're actually back playing Nightmares from the Deep. Last time, Nightmares from the Deep, I was playing a demo. This is the full game. We are going to see if we can hammer through this as a full rule. <laughs> now we've got actually battles going on in our chat. Oh yeah, Josiah, I will fight him in anything but the Kirby throwdown or whatever. Oh yes, of course, anybody who actually does watch the stream, you can actually become the stream boss. This is actually a good way to get yourself sponsored and shown on screen at any time during any of my shows because up in the top right corner, if you actually follow, subscribe, and keep track of the channel, that'll actually change to be whoever is the last person to take down the boss. You can always catch me here on twitch.tv forward slash pastiche of skin or on youtube.com forward slash pastiche of skin, which is where you'll be able to play this game mostly, but anybody who subscribes will be able to show up and will be able to take part and will be able to actually have their name emblazoned up there forever and ever until somebody else decides to take you down. So let's jump into a little bit of Nightmares from the Deep from Artifacts Monday. Uh, if you don't know what this plot already is, you can go back and watch the previous episode to kind of give yourself the first 15 minutes, or you can join us right now and watch it straight through. Ascension Embers from the Deep is a female protagonist-led plot with a, an archaeologist who is trying to actually For rescue her daughter after century, a pirate the from the 18th century. Caribbean Sea was a deadly a place to sail. mishap and tries to its waters were terrorized the by the fearsome Captain well, let's, Remington. Let's stick with the story now for the moment until you can actually figure out what's going on. Rumors spread from port to port about Remington's pact with the devil. During his nefarious ah, damn, career, those and their pacts with he the devil. I mean, it's really ships, hard to find a crossroads in the middle of the water, even but he managed men. to find it anyway. Until the day armed forces finally caught up to him. Well, yar, I'll have to go into the water, I suppose. I will get my revenge. Because dead men will tell who did. So, let's get ourselves in. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. All right. So, being, oh, there's always a tend to be a problem with artifacts Monday games that they tend to actually overpower their um, their dialogue with music. So we're just going to leave. Uh, I'm turn on vibration. Don't you. And brightness. Uh, is it bright enough for you guys? Just watching it there and going, like, it's impossible to tell how bright or dark that is. <laughs> so for me, this is quite bright now, but for you guys, it's barely showing on the stream is right. So we'll pick it up to that maximum and make it a little bit easier for you guys to be able to spot the objects with me as part of the stream. Hmm. So let us invade and search for the cursed heart. Oh yeah, have to do the adventure. Regular mode. Now, three hundred years later. Remington's the 10,000 years are free! Now to conquer Earth! ...is being extracted from the depths of his watery grave. Alpha, read us escape. We need five teenagers with attitude. Soon, this precious Sorry, artifact I'm just will be on display in the Caribbean Naval Museum. Part of the plot. So obviously, the materials being found on the Deep Sea are being brought back to the Her museum. museum. Uh, Her museum. And this is where we kind of on-ramp ourselves with the tutorial. I think I'll just skip the tutorial. That's all right. <laughs> think about the point now sure where thing, I'm actually Black. Hole. I'll leave the crate at the end of the exhibition hall. Why? Thank you very much, good gentleman. Hi, mom. I just want to sneak a quick peek at this legendary pirate, and then I'll stay out of your hair. Come Aww, on, sweetie. Let's check out the crate that just stay arrived. Work. I'm gonna push your crate along with that man. Ah, nope. Oh, Got my key. Have anything to do that? Right, go this way. There, you're all set. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be on my way. That's fine, delivery dude. Oh my god, he was a ghost! A spooky ghost! The crate is nailed shut. Do you think we could pry the lid off? With so many I'm tools lying hands. around, I'm sure you can find a crowbar. I'll stay here and keep an eye on the crate. Oh, right. I still have the key card to your office. 
Here you go. And don't worry, this mummified corpse won't be going anywhere without me. Ha <laughs> ha! Foreshadowing! Bleep bleep! Back to that, I'm sure one will look later. I need to break glass for anything doing. Uh, I'm trying to figure out is there a I don't have a crowbar here in my office. Oh, I know, I know where I need to go. Let's use the key in this, then we'll go in there. I'm sure there'll be one in the basement. Let's go down to the creepy basement. Turn the switch the lights off, but we don't need to. Ah, uh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Crowbar. Let's get ourselves set up and ready. Because we're about to start our adventure. The creepy mummy! Uh oh. Ah, uh, that's a problem. That's not what we're looking for. That's the couple that we wanted. What? Nice. That's what we needed. A sword, a thing, a few of them. End up using that. Oh, and that. That's strange. The flashes yeah. of lightning are really playing a trick on my eyes. I mean, it's not too impressive just to actually have the uh, explosions appearing right in front of your person. But, um, I don't know, maybe, dude, like, corpses keep a static charge? Is that is that what it is? Is this a static charge of a mummified man? Oh, wait, hang on a second. What's that here? Hmm, a gem. I wonder what this means. Maybe I should put it into the thing that actually carries gems. Maybe? No? Oh, there we go. Right, four, left, nine, right, six, left, one. Boom! Now this makes sense. God, things are actually alive and growing. I really th should put these objects together, shouldn't I? I mean, I'm not the going to be surprised at all whenever something like this is actually own. going to bring somebody back from the dead. I mean, what would one expect? Other than every single bulb in the building to blow. Don't worry, sweetie. Mom, you know I'm scared of the dark. Well, I didn't Could you mean check to the do fuse it. Box? <sighs> I'm just so... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Got problems. We need to go back. We need to find a torch in some way, shape, or form. Maybe it's in the break glass. Nope. Maybe it's not in the break glass. Maybe it's somewhere else. Oh. Oh, that's very sweet. Fur and cowboy hat too. Um. Oh well, that was very nice of you. I didn't even need to read your note before I actually needed to do it. Yeah, no figured. Ah, there we go. Yeah, that's a very genteel way of doing it.
Oh, here we go. I have to start finding stuff. So, right, help me out of here if you actually see me getting too slow at being able to do this. Yep. 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 Yep, that's what I needed. Needed. Uh, dagger photo. Hmm. Always whenever you see objects that are actually laying against other objects. There we go. Yeah. Uh, Barrow curing playing cards. Oh, that was help. Dagger. Um, playing card light bulb. Oh, that'll make things a little bit easier. And cards. Uh, Barrow. Uh. Light bulb, Barrow, Keyring, Photo. Oh. Oh, there's stamps on everything here. Hmm. Hmm. What? Are you? Oh. Like I pressed around that like half a dozen goddamn times. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's right. There's an alternate to actually doing the hidden object thing. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I mean, essentially, we've only got like three objects left. I might do that for another one if I get the proper stuff. E fob. Remember this pharaoh? I'm kind of going like, what do you mean by pharaoh? Light bulb, light bulb, light bulb. And a light bulb moment. Oh, oh wait. Well, that might have been Anubis there, actually. In the background. Wait, it was! It did bloody count! Ugh. What do I think I'm looking for is a light bulb now? My light bulb moment! Oh, that annoys me. That annoys me. Sometimes it really annoys me. But I've got the fuses I needed, so we can just wander in here now. Fuses here. Three. And we go small one. And we put it in the right one. Boom. Lights are on. Everybody's home. Yes. The power has been restored. <laughs> you just trying to game the system now, Josiah? Sorry about that, man. It doesn't work. There is other ways to actually uh, get uh, your message up. It does say in the wee box down next to me how other ways you can attack via stream boss. Um, I should actually probably make up a rule set for that and show it, post it in the chat every once in a while so people can understand how to do it. But I just haven't done the macro. I haven't made, made the bot for that yet. I don't understand how it really works. But um, given bits and uh, cheers and that kind of things are all easy ways to do it. Or introduce other people to come to the channel as well. I think you can directly attack him as well with your um, badass marks of badassery as well by hanging around in the channel and in Twitch. Dun dun dun! Mom, come here quickly! Yes. Well, sweetie, you're the one standing right next to me. You can tell me what eyes. happened. The, the showpiece just ran away. I wonder why. Drop something well, we're gonna in the stuff him, might even put him on a wall. Things. The pirate corpse dropped something in the crate. I wonder what this is. <gasps> a signet ring. With a design that looks very familiar. I wonder why it's familiar. Ah, yes. That's why it's familiar. It was used as a lock. You best not believe in ghost stories. Was there someone behind You're me? in one. <gasps> no! Mom! You serve my 
purpose, maiden. Sail forth, my ship, to Skull Island. What the fuck? Yeah, I love this, but like the museum, like fuck the museum. <laughs> I got a boat. I got a landlubbering boat that can crash through absolutely everything in the city. Like we're not even on the coastline, man. We're in a landlocked county. Climb on a ghost ship just by putting a hole in it. If it never goes back to the water, it'll be feel safe. Right. The adventure begins. So, um, we got the first wee bits and pieces of this to do. Genuine long, haunted long ship. I have to find my daughter. She must be another woman on board. That's double the bad luck. But welcome anyway. This cursed ship belongs to Captain Remington, the most fearsome pirate there is. We're his crew. Well, what's left of it? Now that the captain's returned from the deep, we've set sail for the old hideout on Skull Island. To hang out with King Kong. Here's a map of the ship. For free. Don't want bad luck getting lost on the ship. A map. Now I'll always know where I am. Damn useful. So, you fancy me bottle of shiny fluid? I can't give everything away for free. I'll have to trade you for it then, I imagine. <laughs> it is truly hard to just left sinking that's going on there. Alright, so that obviously needs someone else to open it. Um, let's see. What the hell? Oh, yeah. Find the shiny starfish! Yeah, there'll be a few of those. Don't worry. Uh, they'll all make sense soon enough. <laughs> Go to her! Help me! You son of a bitch! Three locks that I need to pick in, essentially. Three keys. So once we get those three keys, we'll feel a lot safer, and we'll be able to get a lot further out of here. But until then, we just keep pick up things that we can spot along the walls. And one of the... Starfish. There we go. We need all three starfish to make it through this door. There's a fair bit of unlocking that we need to do to get out of here. We've got one of the starfish, we've got one of the coins. From then onwards, we need to start finding those stuff. Ah, uh, I can do on the screen otherwise now. Moving back. Um, yeah, let's see. Can we use that one? That. Yep, that uses the brick locks. <laughs> Thing falls down. we need for a ball peen hammer. <laughs> Telltale made this. Uh, Telltale could not put out as many games as Artifacts Monday do on a regular basis. It just doesn't happen. <laughs> Chemicals. Perhaps the skeleton pirate is holding the missing bottle. Yes, he might be. He likes his shiny fluid. I indeed I Alright, fine then, so they're not going to let me do it until then. I think I need to use... Oh. Anyway, I just take this thing off the Oh, 
Schnapp. Oh, that's gonna be nasty. Mmm, 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 delicious. Ah, damn it. That's always with the broadcast. I keep on making mistakes. Watch my ass. <laughs> Alright, we should be back. I always forget about that one at certain times of the day. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was meant to mimic. Play along and repeat its pattern. But no, I didn't. <laughs> That's bad blood. So. There we go. So, ah! Boom, got that one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you very much. Give me the coin. So that's that one solved. Let's move on to the next part. Into the galley. stuff anyway. Is there a recipe listed? Yeah, it is. Water, rum, limes, and spices. So this time we're going to do a little bit of match do instead of actually doing the hidden object game. Just give myself everything. Be walking around in my full mouth movement? Yeah, you're right actually, man. That would actually be a... Ugh. I would I'd be curious to know, would Walking Dead, or not Walking Dead, but Telltale Game be interested in taking one of these Martifex Monday ideas and working together with them? That would be the interesting thing. Anchors away, anchors away. I didn't want to reshuffle there. Like, I'm worried that I actually had to reset the, the game. It's the fact that I, I'm not allowed to use my D-pad to move around on this. It actually uses an analog pad. It actually feels a little bit more awkward. That's just a uh, per design, I think. And he's the last two to go and do that. Boom! Problem solved. 
Well, actually, I've enjoyed doing the match too, because I find that a little bit faster than actually doing any of the rest. Uh, of course, Paul's gonna go in there. Boom, there we go. A fire nice and going. We hope we can get into this. Ah. I guess there's a note saying where it is. Stop stealing my stuff, I chained the cupboard shut. You would have to be an alchemist to melt my iron rope. Who's laughing now? Alchemist? Alright, assuming that we're actually gonna have to go back upstairs to get the alchemy material to burn into that to get into the to do that. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I actually like the idea of one where it's, um, put the ship. Put the ship. That's the ship. That's the ship. Upside down boot. One flail. One thing that looks like a pair of boots. Huh? Oh. Uh. Come back down there. Come back to you. Oh, <laughs> uh, no worries, man. I actually will check out your stream as well, man. If you're actually... If, like, anytime I'm not uh, broadcasting myself, I'm usually watching all their streamers. I'll definitely be checking it out. Although Mob Crush is something I don't... Like, as much as I, I broadcast on the Mob Crush, but I don't actually watch stuff on Mob Crush, do you actually do use multiple streams kind of like the same way I do? Because that's... um, I've just kind of taken to doing this on, like, multiple sources all at the same time. I'll put there. Oh, that. 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 There. Right, I need to find someone that's actually taking up the space that should be for it. One there. One up here. Aha! That's all the stuff out of the way. Get in the ammunition closet now. So, you haven't been captured yet. No, I, I can tell it won't be long before Captain Remington takes care of you once and for all. You'll follow in the footsteps of your daughter. Just wait until we get to Skull <laughs> oh, Island, to box, our man. fortress. As long as you keep the Aye, joy but flowing. Remington's plans have something to do with that other woman, the Countess, who appeared among us centuries ago. Now scram your bad luck charm. Me wooden limb is itching, like there's something in it that I can't reach. Well, it's kind of weird that your wooden limb is... Oh, wait, hang on. I can fix this. Why did you put some cork into your goddamn leg? That's weird. Um, let me eat tweezers, so I'm gonna need to actually go and find some tweezers. I'll be back in a second, okay? Um, boom ball, touch, uh, shove around, but not like anything active with. Alright, so we go and hit an object again, or we go and uh, take a boat, hit an object, or match two. And I'll let you pick your thoughts and have your time to decide. I just start picking up stuff. Hidden thingy. Right, we're doing hidden thingy. We're hidden thingy in the hell out of this. Uh, what do we still need? Spiked, club, war scythe, trident, and horn. Well, there's a trident. Um, 
Spike Club War Scythe Corn. Spike Club War Scythe Corn. Hmm. Oh, there. Uh, oh, that's like that's not a War Scythe. That's like a sickle. Spike Club. Right there. War Scythe. And a horn. Jeez, lad, we got wild dogs to the horn here. You just sort out. Oh, you! He was right there. A chisel. What do you need a chisel on? He needs a chisel on you. What are we gonna do? Ah. Horn like the helmet. Yep. Like whenever you're done the last one, you're going like, I'm just gonna use a hint. Here's a hint. So mm, oh my I'm gonna need the alchemist stuff to actually be able to get into that, so we need to go further back. Is someone else I can use a chisel on? I don't put any water in this thing. What? You what again? Want? Why don't you leave old Smithy alone? Oh, you fancy his shiny fluid? Well, I accept bribes. I'm quite thirsty. Get me some grog, and I'll give you this rare bottle of chemicals. Because I was planning to drink it if I can't find no grog. I'm thirsty. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Oh, man, to put the key in on? So, bronze one goes into bronze. There you go. Yeah, creepy. on top of the planks. I can't move them. Boom! Get all that off. Our blistering barnacles. Oh, well, thank you very much. That's really nice of you. Hello, Andrew. Only a follow if you actually want to follow, man. <laughs> It's, as much as I respect uh, his opinion, and um, sometimes I just have some people might not like the way I do things, so <laughs> if you enjoy it yourself, then feel free to join. Plus, we'll probably end up being stream boss, and that'll piss him off so much more. <laughs> Alright. Lots of colored games.
Uh, I'm trying to do the actual like rotation math in my head, going like right. If I have that thing there. There. I knew it. I knew it was actually two turns on either side of the front. So, in the door we go. Hey, more shit to see inside the cabin. Oh, whoa, what's this? Any objectives here, but I have no idea what the actual port this is. Oh, I need to actually find another ship to put in. Uh, right, we'll look for that. Feed it a coin, but that's not going to really work. Right, obviously we've got a hidden object thing to find here. So open the doors. Um. Ah, damn it. Okay, controller time. Problem solved. So we'll probably dig a little bit. Oh. Um, hmm. PR, whip, ink, block, anchor. Oh, wait. Stuff out here as well? That's what I meant by anchor. Uh, okay. I was actually like, I don't know why I was thinking about one for so much bigger. Locked car, squid, fucking car. Oh, that would make so much sense. Just right there. There it is. Aha! You know, somewhere nearby. Ah, uh, so we know what the tap is used for now. It's for tapping that keg, I imagine. Oh, hi there, guy. Ah, if you're here, then my captain lives again. I hope Remington told you about the doubloons. You need all 12 to open the chest and retrieve its contents. I'll be watching you. <laughs> you can have some of the balloons now. I'll give the rest to you later. The people of the Caribbean first heard about Captain Remington and his black galleon. Captain Remington the when same he sank one from two the passenger black ships near Il Samora. Those who survived were taken aboard and later sold as slaves. Tales of Remington's cruel and ruthless manner spread. Legend spread of his lunacy. Tell me a story. Those 
whose first attacks were only a taste of the coming atrocities. Soon, Captain Remington boarded and sank commercial ships. His black galleon would appear out of nowhere and strike without warning. Those who weren't shot to stab Remington shot them. were yes. forced yeah. to walk the plank to the pirates' amusement. He's a suspect about the shotgun. Very, very dangerous at close range. Bum, 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 stop. <laughs> There's not much else I can do in here, as far as I know. I need a boat for that bit. I need something to feed the power for this bit. I need more coins for that bit. Pretty sure I need to go back. I don't know. Don't tell me to go in here. What? Ah, oh, there's another coin. That's why. Well, we might as well get one more story out of it. Why not? People were frightened and began to suspect Remington must have made a bargain to come by such unearthly skills. <laughs> His crew was the said to consist of sea monsters, and convicts, and, and cannibals. His ship was thought to be invincible and capable of casting storms, fog, and eerie. Pirates are a superstitious and coward, they're not. They always run, but they always get caught. Yep, there we go. Now for another search. Wait. Bone, bone, bone. There we go. Oh, I want a cracker. I guess you want to twist it a wee bit more, but it's just as creepy as it is. Um, yeah. All he wants cracker! Murder!
Oh, that was my last key. There we go. What happened? You bastard. Get my daughter! So, this is where the demo ended for me on... Uh, get the golden liquid. We don't need his piss. <laughs> I'm pretty sure alchemy-wise will know what it is. But yeah, we get on this deck and find out what's going on first. Ah, so it really is Skull Island. Get back here with my daughter! Oh, so that's what you do. So you get gunpowder and that. So one, Frank, two, gunpowder, three, ball, four, oak, five, six, angle, seven, blow the shit out of him. Okay, gotcha. Alright, we need to go and find the poke. Damn it. Pirate wedding. We hereby announce the wedding. Countess Mary Bannister and the pirate captain Henry Revan. The ceremony the, 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 the ceremony will take place on the 14th of June, 1728, at the Fortress Grounds at Mission with Invitation Only. Another map. Now I can keep track of my position on Skull Island. Well, <laughs> I'm glad that's helpful for you. It's more the fact that where's your goddamn daughter? What are you doing here? Have you come to free us? Oh, you're just looking for your daughter. Remington rushed through here on his way to the fortress. If you see him, give him my decomposing regards. If not for Remington and his damned bride, we would be buried like proper dead, not hanging here for eternity. Oh, Jesus. Lost up the final dead body. Um. the fortress and it's a pretty solid one last time when the Arnese fleet attacked us only the cannonballs were able to crush the walls the massacre that happened afterward is Remington's fault if he'd stayed true to the pirate way we wouldn't have ended up like this I have to warn you though he's still dangerous take this knife it may come in handy. Damn helpful skeleton, man. Thank you very much. You gave me a weapon. You are a good guy skeleton. We'll actually help you out if we can.
got a bundle of limes. I'm almost ready for me grog. Ah, she wants to go and grab it a bit. Oh, we need the hook, wouldn't it? Damn it. To go down the armory and get the um, coal, don't I? As well, there should be one put right here somewhere, maybe. Yeah. All right, grab the more things from this shelf. There we go, that was everything again. We almost got our grog. Oh, we got a knob. Hey! The captain's own brand of rum. One of the vessels attacked by Remington's crew happened to be on its way to pick up the young Countess, Mary Bannister, and safely transport her to her father in San Juan. The pirates boarded the ship, killed the Marines, and then donned the dead men's uniform. Uh, At the port of call, nice. before anyone noticed, Remington kidnapped Countess Mary, expecting a grand ransom. Nice. Right. So we didn't miss much there. <laughs> Sorry, I looked away just to check my messages while I was doing that, but I was just like, uh, yeah, Go. that you fuck yeah we're making it now then I think we got enough now got, uh, rum got spice Done. A bottle of grog coming right up. <laughs> Delicious. Step one. The underpan. Step two. Step 
go yellow in first, blue in here, red in the corner. Okay. I need a file? What? Yes. Well, I can't take that spear from the bottle. Oh, you ass butt. Drink your grog to prevent scurvy. Yes. Yeah, well, that's the reason why it was actually it was a vitamin C mixed in with the alcohol, so they stayed sedient and actually didn't get scurvy. That was actually what the music was meant to be. I still, I literally captured the music from the air. Yep. And the walkie. What? What? A walkie-talkie? What in God's name era is this meant to be? Weird. Just happened. Hey, fuck it. Where's my kid? God damn it. Of course, in the tall goddamn tar, molesting my daughter. You son of a bitch. drugs. Sure it's all coming from the alchemy. I need only a solid rod. can move anything. Give a man a lever and some leverage, he'll be able to move the world.
Like any puzzle, start with the corner. Right, so, once you get the outsides done, then you have to start figuring out the interiors. Um, yes. Right. That doesn't look like that belongs there. wrong here. That should be there, shouldn't it? Yeah. Everything from that point onwards is actually all shifted in the wrong place. That doesn't make sense.
send one in there? <laughs> oh, holy shit, she's a week. Come on, man. She's a she's a probably the person who works in a museum. She does, she's not used to the uh, the big heavy lifting and the rolling of giant rocks and stones. I don't think she's a full-on archaeologist. I think she's actually more of a museum adjudicator. So she doesn't get the full points for actually being uh, Indiana Jones. So let's see what that there. Boom! Yeah! That was the only thing that was missing. All that for a single coin. Damn, man! Alright, hang on, I know. I put that there. That opens that door. We can go in. To the crypt. Everything gets lifted. We fill in our pocket with the things that we find by clicking all around. Easily done. So, shark tooth, pipe of tobacco. Oh, tobacco into pipe, pipe of tobacco. Uh, fish bone, beads, casket, shark tooth. Shark tooth, fish bone, beads, casket. Oh, they're beads. Fish bone. Oh, I couldn't even see that in the relief against their ass in the background. She at least have lifted a. <laughs> she lifted a crate before. Ah, I imagine she might have just shoved the crate. But you know, that stone brock, as soon as she gets a big enough bowl, she'll be able to knock it over anyway. Boom, done. And we got a vial! Finally! We can do the chemical stuff back in the boat. Back into the alchemy, and we'll get this thing done. So now that we have the vial, we can use that, that, this, one. Solved. Whoop whoop! Got the chemicals we needed. Get me into the armory. Get that shit to open. All mine. Taking everything. Take it all. Leave none behind. The pirate code said. As well, less of a code and a rule set, and more a set of guidelines. Submarine. Where is me little submarine? 
There it is right there. <laughs> oh man, more enjoy. Go and enjoy your sports. Go and have a good time, man. Um, I will hopefully see you before the end of the stream. But if not, have fun and hope you enjoy the show afterwards. Boom! Got it. Pori, pori, Bernie, Bernie. the hell is this? I need to put a fish? I need to put a fish in here? Alright, I don't have a fish. I need to go get a fish. What the fuck was that? Right, so before we can actually get anywhere else. Oh god. I was gonna be able to just get into the wedding now. I need to put that bowl down for being able to catch the fish. Uh need steering wheels and complete fitting all the parts for it. It's whenever it actually shows one bit after another, we're going like, oh it's got so many things, so many puzzles for me to finish. That skull still has an eyeball on it. Uh, do you not even wait until the actual eyeball falls out or decays away before you actually try to use it as a wet, like a light source? Two dead flies. Fantastic. That's exactly what I needed, I think. Make me do another search to find another hook. Oh god. I, I can understand this being one of their earlier games, but this is actually frustrating whenever you actually put a situation where you have to actually do a number of searches one after another. Finally, can I go and do it now? There we go. Jesus Christ. Right. Back up to the place I need to be.
Uh, what? That's right, yeah? One, two, three, two, three, three. Does that make sense? Go on, little fishy. Go on, little fishy. You go get it and bring it back to me. Good boy, good little fishy. Come up over here. Good man. Now you live there now. You used to get to stay there forever. Never to explore the oceans, never to explore the streams, ever again. Why are all the doors unlocked with rings in this? these rooms completely empty by the time I actually finish. He tore the painting which I haunt. He remembered me as a young girl. Now he's insane, planning to set infernal powers in motion once again. Help him. Find the map marking the way to the treasure and look for other portrait pieces. Jesus.
Oh my god! The gondola's mechanism has broken. I should fix it if I want to return. What a great day pillaging! A very fantastic day with all my friends! Ah, oh, sweet, there we go. Parts all done. Obviously, oh, put that in there. I don't know if to put that up, so if we wait for longer, why not? So there's one of the eyes in. Or come back whenever we get the other one. Terrace. Oh. Ah. Oh. Fires pull that off. 
and that gives us a chance to get to the next eye. Then the eye gives us another puzzle. I get ya. I get ya. I think you try to speed run this as fast as possible, really. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. Um. Shit. Oh, 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 not for you. Go. No. Oh, yeah. You here. Oh. Nope. Nope. That seems uh, a little bit simple, but also awkward. Taking so long. What do I put in here? Oh, there's my invitation. There we go. That's how you actually unlock that door. By putting a piece of paper in its mouth. truce among all pirate companies for the duration of Captain Remington's wedding. It was supposed to be a great ball for all the sea wolves in the Caribbean. We left our weapons on the ships as an act of good faith, so when Baron Bannister's soldiers showed up, we were defenseless. Oh, they no. butchered us without hesitation. Men and women, innocent and guilty alike. But Jesus. now, Captain Remington is back at last, and he will avenge us so that we may finally rest in peace. There's a pro-pirates movie, or pro-pirates story this is? The festivities were beginning when the soldiers rushed in. Guns blazing, swords slashing at the crowd. 
It was I a massacre. Was absolutely euphoric. The finest wedding I ever attended. And Bruce. the last one, too. But tonight, the captain has appeared with a new girl on his arm. <gasps> Maybe he Shock has horror. found a way the to recreate abounds. the wedding somehow. My sword was useless when the slaughter began. In the blink of an eye, the wedding guests were dead or dying. Just before my own death, I saw the Countess crying as her treacherous father rescued her and chained Rescue. up Captain Remington for execution before her eyes. But oh, now, no. the Captain's voodoo gimmicks might prove useful, and we will see the Countess and him walk down the aisle once again. Can I do the statue now? They're gonna let me do it. Yes, the boot hook was exactly what I needed. Again, no. Don't make me go back and actually put the thingy in the thingy so I can put the thingy in the thingy again. Dead men's end. The sea monster? There we go. Pop up sea monster. Way! Then. There we go. Pop. Pick, pick. Boom. Oh, Christ. Do we have to actually do another one to get this to work? Alright, cool. Pattern in the lens arrangement. I need to make it match. Right, 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 right. Oh, it's actually just a rotational one? Wait, that'd be better. For that.
I think I've got the pattern there, but I'm wondering where I'm actually going wrong with this. the pattern lines that are outside of line, but that looks about right to me. Where am I going wrong in this one? Yeah, I might need a little bit of assistance to figure that out. Ah, oh, okay. Wait, no. Fits that line, but doesn't fit any of this. What the hell is wrong with this? Imagine it's trying to do a like sugar skull kind of thing, but I'm not seeing the consistent design. Wondering there why it was actually that was so close while yet so far. It took way more time than that than I needed. So close together. So I think that's the last bit of the steering wheel, so I just know to go back here again. Oh, no, I'm not going back to the ship. Don't have to go back to the ship, I can't breathe. Can't have to go back to the ship, I can't breathe. Oh, and. Huzzah! is the ram, isn't it? Right? Oh, 
Oh, there it was there. Ah, didn't even realize. Shovel! Ah. And that needs to be shredded up. That needs to be chopped up. That needs to be squeezed out. And then we mix the three of those things together. That should be it. Okay. Well, it's gonna take a wee while because I haven't got any of the rest of the other material. Ah, oh, she's gonna transpose the spirit. Ah, get ya. That's the reason why it's a whole Nox on the Moon thing from the mummy. It really was just the mummy that they're ripping off. It's a bad. Alright. The planet made the merchant things, but we're missing a ship. Where's our last ship? Where the treasure is buried by strictly following the instructions on the legend, which is East 1, North 3. This is ridiculous. So, east one, north. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that again, just. Yeah, I'm not... that point which is obviously showing and then tell me it's north three from somewhere else I can't see That's what it was. It was just the fact that I needed to actually mark it out because I was already gone the first step and it kept resetting me back again. Oh, good old Billy Bones' grave. Knew there was going to be a reason why we wanted to go back there. How do you have the Wii ship now? Happy days. Wonder when I could get that back. So, we need to go down to the coast again. Oh. To the coast! Oh, that's useful. We can use that for the um, thingy and bobber that we were going to do. More coins! Woo! That was a uh, well worth graduate. That was actually well worth the searching to find us. Christ. Okay, where are we going? So we're going back to the ship. Gotta get back to the ship. We gotta breathe. What's this?
Problem solved. So it needs to be Does it not need to go something goes in there first? Right, let's double check that. That gets ground up, grand. That gets peeled, then cut, grand. That gets squeezer to make a leaf. Then that goes in there. That goes in there. That goes in there. That goes in first. Then that goes in. Do I need a pistol? Is that what I'm missing? Am I miss missing a pistol? Oh wait, no, no, that makes sense. It goes into this bowl. Two. Three. Then. One. Two. Three. Pound, pound, pound. One. Two. Three. Three. Yeah. Pound, 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 pound. No, no, wait, sorry. A little bit of liquid. Punch, 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 punch. That. And boom. There we go. Got a green ink. Demon got Daughter
ladle and a tower cord. Tower card, and I just need to find a ladle. Ladle, ladle, ladle. Ladle is one of those words that you can just keep on saying. It just seems to lose all meaning. Ladle, ladle. Ladle, 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 ladle. There's a little in a row. Little in a row on the screen. I can't find a little in a row on the screen. I need, I need your, I need help to find a little and. What? What? Alright. We'll be embraced like the way when it could I use it. Row. Rose, 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 rose. Oh. Where's the road? Oh, there we go. It was sitting right there. Oh, delightful. Lizard tongue. Exactly what I wanted. Two out of those, I need dragon skills and a severed ear. Dung. Look hair. We need to find feathered ear. I will give him another coin just to continue the plotting. During her days aboard Remington's Black Galleon, the captive Mary Bannister turned out to be fearless. Yo! Peaceful she was ready for and resilient battle. as she, she tried to anything. shun the pirates' advances. Captain Remington was keeping her out of harm's way. On rare occasions, Mary was given permission to visit the deck. Once, to avoid her father's disgrace, she attempted suicide and jumped into the water. Okay. That's a little bit fucked. Woody McBooderson. Right. That makes sense. So, everybody needs to go to somewhere. The best thing to do... Uh, the one that goes straight to its destination, immediately go to its destination. So if I bring you into center, you there, solves that problem.
Right. I was actually just like zoomed out while I was trying to solve that puzzle there. This is all meant to become like a, a moral story where you're going like, you know what, actually you can have my daughter. Remington jumped in after Mary and saved her from drowning, but the rescued girl soon became feverishly ill. The captain couldn't trust any of his vicious mates, so he personally nursed Mary back to health on Skull Island. During that time, Remington fell in love with the beautiful Countess at his mercy. Mary noticed Remington's feelings and started to care for the legendary pirate. I took this old symbol with me to the grave. Recovering it would help you understand what drives him. I don't care Maybe what my daughter buys. Stop Remington in time. If only you could regenerate my hand. Well, that's actually quite a sweet picture of them, but um, still, a bit of a weirdo. Let's get my daughter. Fuck him. Last one I need. It's dragon scales. Dragon fucking scales? Really? King Coins! If that tells me to go back to the boat, I'm gonna be pretty fucking pissed. Uh, uh, oh, no, not the boat. the octopod. Oh, 
Nice. Ah, further into his madness. Yay, dragon scales. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Got what we needed. Regeneration potion, then I'll have my symbol. Hey. I'm starting to get this now. I managed to pull off a voodoo recipe without knowing what the fuck I was doing. That is madly impressive. I'm a voodoo priestess. Do not stop me. You're going to use regeneration. Why don't I just make more of it and actually like take the rest of her body back to life? Is that not like probably a better idea? She'd be there, like, so that way, literally, he does not need your daughter for any reason anymore.
While Remington's and Mary's love was becoming mutual, Mary's father was preparing a coalition of military forces to rescue the girl. The grim Baron Bannister had only recently come into money and power and was still greedy for more. He was planning to kill three Lord birds with Howard. one stone, liberate his daughter, kill the fearsome pirate, and save the ransom. My daughter. Act with the devil. In exchange for Henry Remington's soul, I, Davy Jones, devil of the seas, will make him invincible. Remington will I'll remain immortal as long as he wears my cursed necklace. Should Remington never die, placing the necklace on him will revive him. Well, the cursed coins will protect the de deposit. Serving as a pact surety, the deposit will be stored in the chest protected by my trusted guardian. If the deposit is removed, Henry Remington will return to being a common man, with all the consequences of his past deeds to haunt. Hmm. Signed by Davy Jones. Witnessed by Henry Remington. Notarized by another man altogether. Oh shit! That was the necklace. So the necklace really has none left in it now. Oh god. Oh god. So many things to press on. All the objects. Press all the objects. Fish bones. Got him. Travel path. There's a travel cliff in here somewhere. Good? No. Ah, oh, there it was on the page of the right. The music from the thing. Wooden arm? Oh, the missing arm from the thingy. Right. Okay. I know exactly where we're going. Hey, we got all the bits now. Missing arm. Turn him into a normal man, so I may not even have to fight him in any way, shape, or form, which would be a good sign. Or if I do have to fight him. Oh, oh wait, what was that? Someone has taken the body. <gasps> well, I know what that is. That was because he's going to try and swap the bodies around, doesn't he? Three more coins to tell the story as we go. 
He met with the devil, Davy Jones. To win Mary's heart, Remington revealed the truth of his origin. Turns out, Remington was a poor nobleman who signed a pact with the infernal Davy Jones. For the price of his soul, Davy made Remington immortal. The all-powerful Remington joined forces with Caribbean pirates and acquired a formidable crew. And now, thanks to Mary, the captain promised to end his pirate career. We need two more after this, I think. The star-crossed lovers planned to marry at once with all the sea's pirates in attendance to witness their vows to each other. On the eve of the wedding, a military coalition struck the fortress full of defenseless pirates. The Caribbean Sea turned red with blood and Skull Island became a place of torment. Remington was sentenced to death before Mary's eyes. The young countess was broken-hearted. Bannister was claimed victorious for killing Remington and his nefarious crew. The Baron capitalized on his success by forcing his daughter to marry the captain of the Royal Navy. Oh, for fuck's sake. Mary endured a childless and unhappy marriage with the old dull soldier. And when her spouse eventually died, Mary, now a wealthy widow, decided to return to Skull Island. Damn right. Most was the... Is it Mary that's causing this whole thing in the first place? Oh, Nelly. Big turn in this event, are we? He said she's just a zombie to her love. Almost there. Remington's mad. I couldn't stop him as he took my remains from my grave. He's planning to bring me back, but we'll never recover the time we lost. The doors to the underground bay are sealed with a pattern. I wore this pattern all my life. Travel, quick travel, quick travel, come on.
the I see the we have finished the design on. Thank you very much. That's very very pleasant of you. Didn't need to do any more of my voodoo magic. I can see you. I have to admit, you don't give up easily. I'm this close to bringing my love back to life, and I don't have time to bother with you right now. You dare to say she wouldn't Bitch, want I to be give resurrected? A fuck That's what you nonsense. Gotta do. I just want my daughter back. It's the only way we can be together after all these years. If you think you're so smart, bring me proof that my beloved doesn't want to return. <laughs> Oh, you shit. You would have to summon her ghost, you fool. We chanted her all fucking night. I won't believe you until you let me talk to her. Boom, recorded, going back. Wait, what? Was there actually something I needed to There is. one more before I can actually just end him and turn him back into human. And this whole story might have to actually convince him. I imagine she gives me the last point probably. Now I'm whole again. Love is eternal, but people are so fragile. Don't threaten to kill me. To talk with Henry before he makes a mistake. Good. Take me to my captain. Yes, my lady. One. Coin left. Almost there. Even though Skull Island was now a sad and dreary place, memories of happier times came back to Mary as she started wandering the familiar grounds. Mary used the money she inherited to build a crypt for her and her captain if his body was ever found. Soon after that, the lonely Mary died. According to her wishes, she was buried at the new crypt. Do you have a coin for me? No, I don't actually. All I have is a penny. Alright. Just making sure that this actually doesn't stop me along the way. Yeah, it's gonna be 
a good thing. Talk to your lady and give me back my daughter. I do not wish to be resurrected, my love. It's time you joined me. Stay. Please. What did I fucking tell you, lad? What did I tell you? I was so blind and selfish. Yes, yes, After you were. After all this time, she still only wants that I give up on this cruel and vengeful life. She Aye. wanted an ordinary man, not a legendary criminal. Rather than resurrecting her, I should join her in the afterlife. Yep. Perhaps she is waiting for me there. Jeez, that I literally just told you. Find those twelve cursed doubloons and bring me my deposit. The only thing that can make me a mortal man again. Jesus Christ! Why did I, why am I going to hunt for your fucking doubloons, you lazy bastard? Pheasant, it's pheasant. What do we need else? We need bull bars. Uh, we need a necklace, person of mirror. Yeah. Um, yeah, right? These are actually all meant to line up with each other, right? But they, that's what they're meant to be. Okay, I'm, I'm messing up here. But day, night, day, boat, 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 boat. It make me touch. What am I got wrong here? Hmm. When I was supposed to rearrange the logical sequence once, I should try to recreate that sequence. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Boat, boat. Bone to bone. Seal to seal to seal. Did, did, did. Booty, booty, boot. Those match up. 
Yeah? Well, I mean... Mm, that makes sense to me. But I'm trying to figure out if it makes sense to the game. Left. Left. Right. Right. Something wrong with the way I pissed them? I can't think of what it is. Unless that needs to be down here. Is that it? Puzzled now. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing wrong with this particular puzzle. Oh, wait, hang on. I think we have to go there. Aha! That's exactly what I needed to do. So that's all of them, right? That's all the coins. Sales, winning the sales. Right, last one. Meanwhile, as the centuries passed, the immortal Captain Remington lay at the bottom of the sea, broken hearted, stripped of his enchanted weapons, and weighted down by shackles and corals. The only person who could make him happy was dead. The only thing which could redeem him, a gift for the bride, was still in the cursed chest on his galleon. Remington grew weaker and weaker under the sea, waiting for a chance to set things right. That's right and more for his own benefit, really, right? Hey! Open that bitch up, old man! Stab the heart. Ew! Put it in your pocket and carry it away with you. The fact that we're going into the basement but the tower is what's lit up, that doesn't make sense to me. Unless it's like leads you to the tower. Or Hey, fuckhead. Give me back my daughter. Gentlemen, that was Nightmares from the Deep, the Cursed Heart. They are unavailable for Artifacts Monday. I knew I was always going to come back to actually play this fully from beginning to end, even after we did that first episode all the way back, back in 20... Well, actually, two years, so... Late end of 2015? God damn, I left this a long time. So, obviously, I enjoyed playing this game. I enjoy playing these hidden object games. I play a fair amount of them on... Uh, mobile and on PC now and it's just a chilled out experience to actually go through and I'm actually kind of hoping that you guys enjoyed 
just that zoned experience of just running from place to place, working your way through the story. Uh, we've got more Artifacts Monday for you in the future. Artifacts Monday have been very, very, very sweet. Uh, they've actually been paying attention to these Artifacts Monday videos and have given me a code to another game, a much more recent one. Considering the fact this is... The, the way we're essentially doing this in two ways where we actually like, picked one from way long ago and taken someone from way modern, actually, on the list. So it's kind of... Um, I'm, I'm excited to actually be playing another uh, Artifacts Monday game really, really soon. Uh, so next Monday... We will be probably going with Grim Legends, uh, episode 2 I think it is actually that I have the key for. And hopefully we'll be doing more Artifacts Monday and more hidden object visual novel-y kind of style games. I actually like this over the visual novel. The old visual novel, it can start to drag unless there's like a really funny beat to hit over and over again. But this is at least uh, the, the mind training kind of like puzzles that you need to do. In fact we went through this entire story without actually using the uh, match two mode instead of actually doing the hidden object because it was just as easy to find. I imagine I would use it more on the expert level because you don't get as many clicks, you get punished for doing the clicks. Um, meanwhile, this I could just go like scan, click, 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 oh, there's one, click, 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 until I actually find everything I needed fairly quickly. But um, yeah, these are just pass me by games. Um, I highly recommend checking them out. Make sure to grab an Artifacts Monday game in the future. Every game has two parts in it, as far as I can tell. Now, obviously, it's the main adventure story. And then the second one is actually set to the side. So there is no spoilers in this situation where you could have actually watched that walkthrough and seen through this experience, but there's still more to see in Nightmares from the Deep, Cursed Heart. So you can always check out the other half. That's not the, the other half, but it's not the Cursed Heart, but it's another adventure altogether unto itself. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you actually enjoyed watching this here on the channel and enjoy watching the Artifacts Monday videos in general, then what you can always do is make sure to hit the subscribe button up there in the corner uh, or hit the follow button or the notification button for any one of the things that you might be watching this on and uh, if you don't do that that's okay completely understand not everybody does not everybody likes to actually do it plus most people some people i know actually just don't have accounts so they can't do the subscribe thing please memorize the name pastiche of skin right across there that's it written down for you easy to spell easy to understand you can find me on nearly any format and forum in any way shape or form all you have to do is just search for me I'm not trying to hide in any way, shape, or form. I want to be seen by you, and I would like you to see me. Feel free to do so. And if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, be a button up there. I would really like you to press. That's actually how to, how to keep me funded and how to keep me making these videos if you enjoy them. And over here on the other side will be a playlist, most likely for Artifacts Mondays. Over on the far side will be the most recent video here on the channel. And right here will be a video just for you, based on the user analytics and the things you do on YouTube, things you like to watch. It will actually pick something out out of all the things that I make and you should be enjoying it. So I highly recommend checking out that video right there because you've already chosen it. It's just you haven't clicked on it yet. So I recommend you go and click on it. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.